In this video demonstration, you will see how to use Dynamics 365 Customer Voice with Dynamics 365 Human Resources to send performance self-evaluation surveys and record the results in Dynamics 365 Human Resources. To get started, we'll generate the virtual entities for performance reviews. This is done by opening System Administration and then selecting Data First Configuration in the Links tab. Next, click the Virtual Entities tab and search for the Performance Reviews entity. In this example, you can see the entity is already generated. Now, let's take a look at the survey in Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. For this example, we created a new project and a survey with four sections, including a variety of long answer form questions. We also added the personnel number into the personalization so that the value can be tracked and we can look up the employee later on. As you scroll through the survey, you can see the details, including each of the sections, the questions with their format, and you can optionally select to make questions required. At the bottom, you can see the details about the footer and the message that is sent after the survey is completed. The next step is to send the survey. You can see that this survey has been sent to eight people and one person has responded. Now let's switch over to the Maker Portal and take a look at the Power Automate flow that sends these surveys. For this example, we have a flow that is set for a recurrence. Next we have a step that gets the worker details from the Dataverse. This is also a virtual entity from Dynamics 365 Human Resources. Then, for each worker we retrieve from the worker's entity, we send a survey. You can see that we are using the worker's primary email address and selecting the details for the survey. Now, let's go ahead and run this flow. You can see the status is running. And when we click refresh, you can see the results. If we click the flow run, we can see the details. By expanding the survey step, you can see the details about the survey and the email address it was sent to. So let's take a look at the email that was sent and complete the survey. You can enter the details for the survey results and use the next button to move to the next page. You'll want to be sure to enter in results for any of the required questions. For each page of the survey, you'll enter in the results and click Next. When you're finished entering responses for all the mandatory questions, you can click Submit on the final page of the survey. Now, going back to the Maker Portal, let's take a look at the flow that captures the survey results. This flow is triggered when a record is created in the Customer Voice Survey Responses entity. Next, we parse the JSON so that we can get the results of the survey out of the context variables from the survey results. The final step in the flow is to create the performance review in Dynamics 365 Human Resources. Here you can see we pass in the details from the survey response, including the URL. If we look at the flow runs, you can see that the survey response we completed earlier has successfully processed. So, let's switch over to Dynamics 365 Human Resources and look at the review that was created. We'll open up the Reviews page. Here, you can see the details from the flow that was created. If you click the General tab, you can view many of the fields that were populated from the flow, and if you click the Ratings tab, this is where you can see the link to the survey results. For more information about Customer Voice, go to aka.ms forward slash Customer Voice.